Hi guys. This video is going to be a little bit different, but this idea sparked to me recently and I decided I need to enact on it and make this video. So here we are. In today's video, I got the idea to go ahead and catalog my entire record collection, which this isn't even my whole record collection. This back here, not even my whole record collection. Spoiler alert. I'm gonna catalog it, and we're gonna find out um, how many records I own, as well as the estimated value of my record collection. I'm not gonna be showing every single record in my collection. I'm not gonna be pulling out. This isn't an entire record collection. This is literally just me kind of documenting the cataloging process of my record collection, showing you guys how I'm gonna do it, what I'm gonna use, and also maybe occasionally pull out some of my favorite pressings to share with you guys. So if you guys like vinyl records and y'all like music and you like random videos, Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Helps me out a lot. And you don't have to watch all my videos, just watch the ones you're interested in. But I love you, I upload weekly, and let's get into it. I made a Discogs when I bought like my first record. And I like didn't use it. And yeah, this is my Discogs. I just added a new profile picture. Looking cute, looking cute. And as you can see, there's nothing in here. I had, I think, 10 records on here, so I just deleted them and I deleted my want list and just started fresh. Now, what I like, and another reason why I wanted to film this is because when you go to search, there's actually a barcode little box. So you can just scan the barcode per each record and it makes it way easier to add it. These are all my new records that I haven't made a video on yet. So whenever I do my record collection update videos, they're all coming out of this crate and then being added onto my shelving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through these first and I'm not really going to document it with you guys. You guys will kind of see the list after, but I'm gonna kind of do these on my own because I don't wanna spoil all the records that I've gotten. So that way, um, when that video comes out, you guys won't already know. Now that I calculated all of my new records, I also went ahead and added all my picture discs that I have displayed on my walls and throughout the house. So all we have left is what's behind me here. I do have a bunch of vintage albums as well, but I don't think I'm going to be adding them because I have picked up a few from flea markets and stuff and they don't have barcodes on them and I know I could just manually type them in, but maybe we'll save that for another day. I don't usually listen to these or touch these or do anything with these, they just kind of sit down here. The next thing I'm going to tackle are all my 7 inch records and I'm just going to start scanning all of these into my record collection. Kind of zoom you guys out a little bit. Something that I do like now that uh, is a part of Discogs is when you scan in things um, and you click to add them to your collection, it lets you pick the condition of them. So I think that's nice. You can also add notes if you'd like. This is way nicer than when I first tried to use Discogs because you would scan a barcode and it would show you all the variants for that record. And then um, you kind of just had to go through and guesstimate like which one was which and you had to click on each one to figure out um, what the pressing color was and where it was released at and all this stuff and it was like really annoying. <laughs> But this is a lot easier. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Y'all, I just scanned in. This is Billie Eilish Party Favor. So what's really cool is it shows the sales history and kind of the estimated value of your records on here. And the cheapest is $14.95, which was the retail for this. And then the highest was $499.99. And 
and it says it was last sold on May 21st for $499. A month ago somebody paid $500 for this. I got this on eBay and I've talked about the seller before on my channel. I don't remember it off the top of my head but if I do remember it I'll display it here. But they're very reliable, very trustworthy. They get record store day releases and they sell them for asking price and then they also just sell some like other records brand new it's kind of just like a record store but it's on ebay and i bought several things from them including this i bought this from them i think i paid 18.99 at the time and it was in 2019 i'm pretty sure now it's crazy but yeah they're awesome highly recommend them time to scan this billy eilish one i think i paid 80 dollars for this Last sold on April 25th for $416. This was another one, this Wallows release. Um, I also got this from that same eBay seller that I got the Billie Eilish one from. And I'm pretty sure this one's going for, yeah, this one's going for $65 now. It was actually just sold a week ago. And I paid. 15 bucks for it. Not saying like that they're recent like comps, like I just bought these, like no, I, I bought them, you know, shortly after they came out or, you know, a year or so after before the prices really fluctuated on them, but it was really nice to have that eBay seller because, you know, certain record store releases you're not going to be able to find in a store again. So that's why I really like that eBay seller. This one I guess is pink, I'll say I have no idea. I missed a lot of Shawn Mendes' um, releases off of his merch store, like his singles and stuff, so I had to find them myself. We have a Post Malone single. Last sold for $20. Honestly, don't remember how much I paid for that. This is Nirvana. Let me look up. Sliver. Seven inch single. Pretty sure this one's just standard black. Nirvana single got this for five dollars from the exchange and it's going for like 25 bucks as of last month so that's kind of cool oh this is so sick this is definitely like a holy grail i think this was the only thing that i kept from my halsey box set and the demo of um drive is so good Now see, I see this as the box set, but I don't have the box set, I just have the, um, the record, so we're going to have to look it up and see if she has it listed on her profile. This last sold on May 27th for $127.
I pre-ordered this one, so I paid $14 for that. Now I don't, I guess we have this to tackle. Meet you there live. I know this one's pretty sought after for $227. $74.99? I actually had two of these at one point because I pre-ordered it and then um, I got one for free when I won tickets to see them. 13 Reasons Why soundtracks. Super sad they never pressed um, the third season and they never did the fourth season either actually i think the fourth season was the one that had five sauce on it oh my gosh this album i raved about it before but y'all don't understand this is such a good album i love this album and i'm so happy that they sent me the green one because i wanted the green one last sold on may 15th for 80 dollars for why here we go this is john bellion this is a fun one i love the artwork for this i don't really listen to john bellion as much as i used to but i still appreciate his style and what he does and i love the stuff that he's worked on with other artists recently but this has translation through speakers the separation and the definition inside and it's this really nice box set this is my very first final box set and I love that, so we're gonna have to look it up though because it doesn't have the um, barcode on it. This last sold, it's been a year, over a year since it sold for 565 freaking dollars. And there's only two listed, and one's four, six fifty, and one's seven hundred. With dead roses. I don't have the red one. Is this red? I don't think this is red. Is it? Oh, I do have the red one. Oh, mine is red and black splatter. Look at that. That's pretty. Is this one. This one just says red. Oh, this one's the red and black. Y'all, I got this on Depop. This was in one of my haul videos. It's beat to shit though. Like, I feel really bad because it's like bent up here, bent up here. It's definitely not in good condition at all. But I got this on Depop from a seller for $18. And it last sold on March 14th of this year for $130. Are you for real? Oh, this one. Ruby the Horizon Mo Limited Edition Clear. This one's signed. It says this last sold for $146. That's mine, though, because mine is signed. This is Girlfriends. I haven't listened to this before, but it's got Travis Mills in it. <laughs> and I love him. I'm in love with him, to be specific. Each time I see this album, I just want to go, salt, sweat, sh**. This, if anyone is wondering, out of curiosity, is my favorite Gorillaz project. My favorite song of all time. Uh, is it not on here? Oh, Armorillo is my favorite of all time, but I also love Revolving Doors and Little Pink Plastic Bags. This is cool because, um... FYE reached out to me and sent me this for free for me to do a video on and then they never never wanted to work with me again so I was kind of sad and I got the disco live album this is a fun one hundred and twenty two dollars for that one. This one's really cool. My mom bought me this. Um, I got this from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yep. Went in there, went around the museum, and I left with a Panic at the Disco album. But I was really excited. There she goes. Brandon's back with the Taco Bell already. This is a hundred and twenty dollars. 
What? What? Brandon's home. I think the original retail for this was $90 or something. And I always wanted it. And one day I went into a record store. My old record store, so the one that I used to go to when I lived with my parents. Um, and they had it up at the front and it had this big red sale sticker on it and it was $60. So I bought it. But this is what I love. <gasps> Does it not work anymore? <gasps> it doesn't work anymore? I haven't opened this in forever. And I guess he doesn't talk anymore. This is also probably one of my coolest uh, records that I have. It's the LCLP in the shape of Ohio. This is so cool. This is one of the first things I ever picked up when I got my turntable. And I remember somebody posted that they posted this on their Facebook and I went to the record store and they didn't have it. And I was like, ah, because it was like two days after record store day and then they told me that they were getting more and their shipment, so I went back and they had like seven of them. Like two days later. We're down to the last group. This is a hundred and twenty dollars. What? This one's a hundred and forty two dollars. Are you serious? Why? Why? I know it's a record study release. There's only 3,000 of these, I think. So, it took us about three hours to scan in all the records and find them because some of them don't pull up automatically. You have to go through the list and then find each specific pressing. So, I'm going to turn on my screen recording and we're going to see how many records I have in total. Okay, it's not going to tell us the total for how many records we own. We're gonna have to go to our profile and it's gonna tell us an estimated value range and then how many we own. So I lied. So let's go to our Discogs and let's see. How many do you think I have? Put it in the comments down below. I was right! 240 records. That includes um, regular vinyl LP albums, that includes picture disc, and that includes seven inch singles. And flexi disc. Wow. And the estimated value on a low scale is 5,600, and on a high scale is $16,800. Dollars. And then the median, which is pretty much where you can sit comfortably knowing how much your record collection is worth, is 9300 So I'll probably go with the median and say that that's the value of my record collection. But it's crazy because, you know, a lot of the titles I was seeing, I was shocked that they were like $100, $120, this and that. And that's what they were selling as. Like, that was the most recent, was the highest value. And I was shocked. And like, this one alone right here is like $600 itself. So it's not unrealistic or unbelievable to obtain that value. That's insane. I'm honestly shocked. That's the first time I've counted my records. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more record related videos, please let me know in the comments down below. Again, I have a playlist with all my videos, including collection updates, hauls, unboxings, and vinyl record care tips and tricks. Go ahead and check it out if you love collecting vinyl records, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.